This is my love letter to Get Together. And I'm gonna be honest, it really is the most underrated expansion pack ever made for The Sims 4. I love Get Together. And I feel like when you think about packs that are like the best ones for The Sims 4, you don't really think of like Get Together. I feel like Seasons and Cats and Dogs and University, all of those like long-awaited big packs come to mind, but no one was like sitting around waiting for clubs to come out, you know? It isn't like a highly anticipated feature of the game, whereas things like Seasons and Cats and Dogs, we were like counting down the moments for that pack. Each announcement we were like, but where are Seasons? But where are Seasons? You know, for years. <laughs> but no one had that reaction to clubs. But like, I use the club feature in literally every single save in my Sims games. And Windenburg is hands down my favorite world in The Sims 4. I love Get Together. <laughs> also, for the record, I barely made Sims videos when it came out. I was not a game changer. I bought this pack, so <laughs> I'm just saying. You can't be like, oh, well, you didn't send it, because I didn't. I bought it the day it came out. <laughs> I actually have a, a Get Together Let's Play. I will link it down below. I had fun with that one. It was, um, you know, it's, it was fine. <laughs> but the pack, the pack is good. Also, the cast from Get Together, like, look at these hairs. I always loved this one, I still do. There's so many good ones. I mean, this one, um, is the only questionable one. <laughs> the rest of them are adorable. And the clothes are great. I just, this pack, everything about it is good. I'm sure you all recognize Windenburg, but here's a little, um, pick to jog your memory. <laughs> this world is huge. There are 26 lots in Windenburg. And that's in four different neighborhoods, six if you count these different like little specialty lots. For context, there are only 15 lots in Newcrest, and there are only 11 in Del Sol Valley. So Windenburg's kind of a huge neighborhood, and I love the fact that there are these different areas to it, like the downtown area on the right side. The fact that the bottom part is like the more like new, renovated, modern area, and then they have like the old town area. I think that's so cool! I, I love that kind of thing. Like, I think they did a really good job to successfully incorporate many different styles of building into this world. Because you have these kind of Tudor looking buildings, you have this crazy like Versailles type castle, you have this cool island. I mean, there's just so many different things going on here, but it works. I think sometimes when they try and have different build styles, it doesn't really like mesh well. I also think that it's kind of hard to successfully incorporate two different building styles into an expansion pack. Like you might notice that most of the packs come with like one sort of vibe, you know? I mean, Seasons is like purely that sort of craftsman look. Island Living has more modern and more traditional things, but it kind of all comes together to that like one sort of island look. But this pack has like all the Tudor build items and it's a very fleshed out Tudor build category and you have all of these more modern items. Like, they did both, and they did both well, and I think that's rare for expansion packs. The first ever public pool came with Get Together. The cafe came with Get Together. The starter homes are kind of lame, but that's okay, because there's a lot of potential. It's fine. And there's, there's like, no lights in this one, um, but that's fine. You know what? It happens. <laughs> but look at the world around you. I mean, all the landscaping is so beautiful. And like the rest of the town back there. Obviously, these are all like fake backdrop lots. These are real lots over here. But I love this town square area. These are all three separate lots, but they're kind of arranged in this like sort of square fashion. I think that's so good. Look at stuff like this. Your Sims can come sit up here and they can play chess up here. They can woohoo up here. I'm just, I'm such a big fan of this world, okay? I mean, I can keep going. The more modern area of the town is so cool. Like all the water features and stuff, this this interesting statue. I don't know. <laughs> but they added easels around in the open world for the first time, like, ever, which was kind of cool. Do you have any idea how many sims I have had get engaged underneath these pink trees? So many sims. An embarrassing number of sims. I have, like, all of my sims propose here. Or down here. Oh, amazing, you know? <laughs> Genuinely, you guys, Windenburg is such an underrated place. It's it's the best world in The Sims 4. Okay, I'm at a nightclub at 8am, but it's worth it. <laughs> they also added the dance floor and the dancing skill in Get Together. Now, I don't really have, um any friends to dance with. Can you guys show up and dance with me, please? I'm kind of lonely. <laughs> guys, guys. Watch, I'm gonna dance battle this guy. Wow, look at me go. No, seriously, like, did you see me? Are you guys seeing this? I mean, come on. <laughs> I wish I could dance this well in real life. I could never. <laughs> But you can like dance battle people, you can have like synchronized dances with your friends. I don't use this skill that often, but it's really funny. And it makes sense, like it's a very logical addition as far as skills go. But the real kicker <laughs> with this pack is obviously the club system. First of all, the club UI is so good. You can join a bunch of existing clubs when you first start, so you can join like someone else's pre-made clubs. But you can also make your own, and this gives you like full power to make whatever social group you want. I think the club 
name is kind of like, oh, it's the club pack, Blah, who cares? But like, you can use this to make social groups. So things like you can put all your family in one club, so you can have like grandma and your cousins over really easily just by pressing like start club gathering. I do that all the time. If I've got a family that has like, you know, all these sims living everywhere, I'll put like a club of all the cousins together so the cousins can all hang out together, like all of the adults or the sisters or whatever. You can make a club of just your sims family. A lot of times I'll make clubs just for children and make like scouts <laughs> and stuff because then they can meet kids their age or teens their age because you can make it so that only teens can join. You can make like a club of young adult singles if you wanted to. And then, you know, you only get people that you can invite that aren't married so that you can have a bunch of um, single friends. Friends, if you know what I mean. <laughs> You could have like a villains club or like just a fishing club. I mean, there's so many different ways that you could use this. A lot of times I'll make like bowling teams. <laughs> Sometimes I make clubs for the other townies in the world so that they kind of seem like they have more of a social life because a lot of times it's hard to tell a story for a lot of the NPCs because they just sort of exist. But you can give them friends this way and you can give them like a purpose. <laughs> but I use this to meet Sims without fail every single time. Like the second my child sim ages up into a child, I'm like, okay, club time, let's meet some other kids kids in the town because it's like the best way to make a bunch of friends right away because it makes sense like in real life they would make friends at school but you can't really like meet your classmates that easily in the sims 4 but you could so easily just be like yeah give me everyone else who you know um loves art <laughs> i don't know what traits this sim has you can make a girls only club or a boys only club i mean there's lots of different things you can do it's just it it makes so much sense it's so useful it's like the calendar we all talk about the calendar as being like this groundbreaking feature but the club system is amazing you could just filter by the kind of people you want to meet and suddenly you have all these like other ladies in the town you can befriend i mean it's perfect and you can do really dumb things with it too like you can make certain clubs hate each other you can join like a simple workout club that already exists you can try to get into the party club i'll go right now i'll try and get in i can party but you can make them like more or less exclusive i just i love how much control you have over this. Hi guys, I like to party. <laughs> I heard you do too. <laughs> Gonna make this guy like me, just you wait. How close do you have to be to get into the to the party house club? How exclusive are we talking? <laughs> I'm gonna apply. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Is he laughing because I asked to join the club? Oh, I did it! I'm in! <laughs> but then you can like try and take over the club and like eliminate the leader and, and take her place. <laughs> I love that. Watch this. It starts with discussing fishing spots and then she's out. I will win. <laughs> but I can make a club that hates these people. <laughs> I love that. You can be rivals. Like you can make for real. I mean, a lot of times I'll make like a bowling team and then the rival bowling team. I realize this sounds really lame, but this is what brings me joy. <laughs> Is, is my rival bowling teams. You could even have like, you know, your Sims high school and the rival high school if you wanted to, but you'd like make it up, you know, but you can tell stories with these clubs and I love that about them. I feel like I'm gushing, but this pack seriously is so underrated. If it goes on sale anytime soon, grab it if you don't have it already. I'm, I'm serious. <laughs> I use it for everything. They also do a good job of like incorporating all of the new packs to have club features. So they added celebrity as a, a club thing. Obviously that came with Get Famous, but they put that in so you can use celebrity level to make a celebrity club. They keep updating it to be current with the, the rest of the packs. Santa's made a singles club though. A bunch of adult, young adult, single people. And now I can know who I can woo. Look, watch. <laughs> but I can just like so easily make my club. Oh, no, I can't, hang on. <laughs> I, need, I need a name. And now boom, I already even know these people. So I can like call them up if I wanted to. It's so useful. Okay, I gotta stop. I gotta stop gushing. Get Together is seriously one of the most underrated packs for The Sims 4. I love it. I, I would be willing to say it's like one of my top Top three, four, top four. I have a hard time ranking these packs. Like seasons, get together maybe, university, cats and dogs, I, all of them are up there. I like those packs, There's, they're good. But this one is too. Official Simsy stamp of approval. I know it's an old one, you've probably seen it, you probably own it already, but you might have forgotten how good it, it really is. <laughs> Go move to Windenburg, you know? What's your favorite expansion pack for The Sims 4? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm so curious. <laughs> I'm gonna be real. My least favorite? Get Famous. Cursed. Absolutely cursed Sims pack. No, I'm sorry. I'm just bitter. I don't mean to be rude. <laughs>